Hello. Good afternoon. Good Thank afternoon. you very much for the uh, time. My name is Samuel Ogenejabo. I'm a tech founder and I'm also an uh, alumna from a tsunami professional musician. Now, when you talk about content and everything, yeah. we understand content is king, you understand? Yeah. But uh, I think I've realized over time that uh, I've seen a, a number of musicians who try to get on YouTube and, you know, some of them spent multiple efforts and posting videos back to back and the algorithm doesn't favor us. Uh, so I want you to tell us how the algorithm works to help us uh, refine our content and how we should create this content. What are, what are the things your uh, YouTube algorithm are looking for to rank content, especially from this part of the world? Our content most of the time don't go, uh, you know, go to the face of every other um, user in other parts of the world, you know. We see content from other parts of the world, but contents we create here, why don't we go that, um, you know, we have that privilege to, let's use the word viral. Sure. So, so if I understand your question is, how does the YouTube algorithm work to help uh, creators like us, especially from regions like this, to get on Gwari uh, um presentation? Um, the way it works is it, it, it recommends, or one of the ways it works is it recommends videos to people, which is why if you, if you think about YouTube, when you watch a video, you see a column of videos on the right that says recommended videos. So it's, it tends to recommend videos based on, on your viewing habits. Now, there's two ways, not two ways, there's two things that you need to be taken into account when it comes to algorithms. What you as the creator does on YouTube and what the user does. Right? So you as a creator, you have to make sure that when you're uploading your videos or uploading your content, you are optimizing properly. Now, to, to buttress that point, there's something called SEO, search engine optimization, which is something that people do on Google, right? Um, to make sure that their content is, when you search, so if I search Muson, for example, um, you don't want some random thing that's also named Muson to show up. You want what the first maybe 10, 20, 30 entries that show up should to be information about Muson, like the music school of Nigeria, right? So you do stuff what's that, something called SEO, search engine optimization, to make sure that you're in front of people. Now, what people don't realize is that the YouTube search engine, just that search box within YouTube, is the second largest search engine in the world, only to Google, owned by the same company, right? So the same, search, the same type of optimization you're doing on Google, just because it's content doesn't mean you should be doing it on YouTube. Again, remember I said owned by the same company, right? So whatever optimization you're doing on Google, you should be doing on YouTube because YouTube, again, is the second largest search engine in the world. People are searching all manners of things, right? If you're, my name is Darkball, for example, I can imagine how many Darkballs are on YouTube. So if I type in Darkball on YouTube, I probably will never come up because they are probably... 50 other doctors are doing things that, you know, have more views and people, and it's, you, the algorithm is showing to more people. So one of the things, so that's something to consider. Another thing to consider is your consistency, right? If you're posting content, say you're posting one song a day, because you're posting more and you're posting more, the algorithm knows to show more people, right? But if you're not consistent, you're posting once, this week you post twice, then you wait till December, you post another once, then February you post maybe three videos, the algorithm is going to be like, you know what? Whenever you want to give me something to show people, I'll show them. If they are interested in it, great, I'll show it more to them. Otherwise, whatever they want to see is what I will show them. So you, you need to make sure, one, consistency. Two, make sure that you are doing things like keywords, um, tag words, you're matching them to popular, other popular things on YouTube that are sort of in the same vein, right? So for... For, for say you did a classical piece, for example, and you put it on YouTube, I would tag that with something like King's College uh, um, um, UK, right? I'll tag it with maybe the Royal Philharmonic or something, so that anybody that's searching for those things, your content will sort of come up in, that, in those recommended videos, right? And then also there's something to be considered for the user habits, because the algorithm also kind of works with the user habits. So if I listen to a lot of, of Back, for example, right? Um, it's probably not going to show me Ashake, just because the algorithm is going to realize that this guy is more about classical music. However, if all I'm listening to is Lil Duck and Sexy Red, it's not going to show me back, except I go and search for it myself. So that's another thing to, to be considered. But then again, that goes into your search engine optimization, because if I'm listening to 
if I'm if if you as as a classical say assuming you're a classical music uh, an instrumentalist yeah a cellist let's say um, if you as a cellist that's putting up your music wants to catch fans that listen to Ashake and Davido then you put in your tags. Because when that comes up, it will come up, it will look like an anomaly, but the algorithm is working. So there's, there's a couple different things to, to, to consider with the algorithm. And I think once you, once you have consistency and you're doing your search engine uh, optimization properly, also there's something to be said for marketing and promotion, both on the YouTube platform and off the YouTube platform, pushing people to your content, right? So I think those are the things that go into, into uh, the algorithm and would help with pushing your content to more eyeballs and more people. I hope that answers your question. Just a follow-up question from uh, the one I asked. So I, I know there are different formats of posting on YouTube, the YouTube shorts and the longer videos. Yes. But I want to ask, the, does the length of the video, does the length of your content affect the, does it have any effect on the algorithm? How the algorithm, you know, ranks your content or anything? Does it have any effect on the algorithm? Um, to answer your question, not really. Um, it's, it's all the things I said about algorithm before apply. Um, you can put up a two-hour video. What you need to be considering is user behavior and attention span. Unfortunately, I, don't, I guess, fortunately or unfortunately, today, attention spans are much shorter. So people are not, you know, less willing, and this is more general behavior. People are less willing to sit down and watch a five-hour video as opposed to giving them short form that's like three minutes or whatever. So, so algorithm doesn't really affect that, but um, the user behavior does. So if people, if you have a two-hour video, for example, and people are only watching 30 seconds, it's, it's likely, it's possible, not likely, it's possible that the algorithm will realize that people just don't want to watch this and maybe not show it to them. So that's, that's less of a, a thing that has to do with the algorithm and more about the content itself. That, I hope that makes sense.